Hello, I am Dr. Vishash. I am a doctor of the SNARP clinic. May I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I am uh, Will Smith, 65 years of age. Oh, nice to meet you. How can I address you? Well, you can talk, tell me, Will. Okay, Mr. Will. I have got a letter from your GP saying that you have tremor on his on your left hand. Is it right? Yes. Yes, Dr. Will yes. Take detailed history and uh, all the information during our discussion will be remain confidential. So, is it okay for you? Yes, Dr. Yes. Uh, can you please tell me in your words what is happening with you? Well, uh, Doctor, actually, it's uh, nothing new. Okay. Uh, I have uh, been, I have actually have been some tremor in my hands, some shakiness of my hand. Okay. Uh, that's around uh, four to five years, okay? Uh, uh, it's not new, but uh, sometimes it's the right arm, sometimes it's the left arm, okay? And, uh, but however, usually it went, uh, came and go. But I think that uh, for the last uh, five or seven months, I think it's usually, it's gradually deteriorating, okay? And now I feel it's uh, more now for the last... Uh, 15 or 10 days, I think it's now more on the left arm. Okay, it's shaking. Hear that. And another thing is that my father is diagnosed with Parkinson's. I, I saw him having uh, dangerous shakiness and he was just incapacitated. And I'm not sure whether it's the same with me. I'm very frightened. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. You said that you had uh, history for you have a history for five years, and it is affecting yes. both of your hands alternatively. Yes. Uh, sometimes both hands. Sometimes only one hand. Okay. Okay. And any parts, legs or anywhere? No, it, it's it's your hands. And I think uh, you since you told that other parts, I had think uh, sometimes I have some. Shaking is in my head also. Okay. And who is part of hands is affected? All over the hand or just a part of? Can you show, show me that? Uh, I think it's uh, more or less the whole hand. Okay. And uh, do you feel it is uh, shaking all over all, all the time or just for a, when you are doing any job or when you are uh, doing nothing or when you are doing going to do something? Yes, I think that uh, sometimes I, when I change my posture, okay, I think that uh, sometimes it's more, okay, and I don't, I haven't noticed that whether it uh, it's better on rest or something like that. Okay, and have you uh, noticed that uh, what brings this type of shakiness? Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't noticed, doctor. And when this is start, for how long it persists? Well, uh, around, I think, uh, around 10 to 20 minutes. And after that, it went, it, it goes away totally? Usually, doctor. Before the onset of this shakiness, uh, do you feel any warning shot, like any uh, headache or any changes in the vision or any abnormal sensation? No, doctor. During the episode, do you feel anything abnormal? Any sweating? No. Any hunger? No, doctor. Any racing or pressing of your heart? No. <clears throat> okay. And uh, when uh, this shakiness occurs, does it shake uh, very excessively or just some only a little? I think it's moderate, doctor. I cannot just uh, uh, tell you that how... Can how you show me that how do you feel when the shakiness comes? Uh, well, uh, how can I uh, to, uh, show you, Doctor? Now? Well, but uh, I think it's... Uh, it's it's, uh, it's quite, quite serious shakiness, Doctor, actually, sometimes. Uh, that's... Well, all I can tell you. Do you feel any changes in the sensation during that time? 
No, doctor. I don't feel any change in okay. sensation. Any pain? No. Any cramping? No. Okay. Well, have you noticed that uh, uh, holding anything uh, uh, makes it better or worse? No, no, doctor. But I feel that at times anxiety makes it worse. Okay. And uh, uh, when it comes, you said that uh, it is always present, even at rest or even you are doing any works. Yeah, yeah. Usually. When I uh, take any specific posture, okay, with my hands or something, or want to do some work, I think it increases. Holding uh, a cup of tea or holding a glass of water. Yeah, I think at times it increases a bit, but uh, not that much. How many episodes do you <laughs> feel? <clears throat> yes, uh, now I am uh, having much more episodes. I around. Uh, I think last month I had around 10 to 12 episodes. Okay. Do you have any headache? No, doctor. Any uh, senses in your vision? No. Any rash anywhere in your body? No. Any loss of consciousness? No. What about your appetite? It's good, doctor. And your weight? Quite good. Okay. Any hot or cold preferences? No, doctor. Uh, any cough? No. Shortness of breath? No. Any racing or pacing of your heart? No. Any lumps or bumps anywhere in your body? No, doctor. Any joint pain? No. And uh, 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 do you feel that this is progressive or uh, this is becoming worse day by day? Yes, doctor. I think that it's getting worse day by day, doctor. And I'm afraid uh, I have Parkinson's. And uh, can you uh, uh, tell me that uh, in, uh, your partner said that uh, you shake at night during sleep or not? No, doctor. Uh, I actually live alone, so I don't know. Do you have any problem with your balance? <clears throat> no. Uh, did you ever got any injury to your head? No. Okay. And uh, do you have any past medical condition that you would like to share? Well, uh, doctor, I have uh, some high blood pressure issues. And for that, I actually take some beta blocker, like atenormal. That's all. And uh, previously, I went to another doctor actually. So he gave me another uh, for for this uh, shakiness. I went to another doctor actually. He gave me another drug, another beta blocker, I think. But I felt very much washed out after taking the drug. So I don't take the drug anymore. Sorry to hear that. And can you remember that? Did the drug help you at all? Well, doctor, might be. I, I think it might help, but actually, I felt so much washed out, so much tired, irritated. I just uh, gave up the drug. Okay, I would uh, consider it. And, uh, do you take any other medication? No. Okay. And any herbal products? No. Any over the counter medication? No. Do you have any allergy to any medication? Sorry? Do you have any allergy to any medication? No, no. You said that your father had Parkinson's disease. Does any of your family member have this type of symptom? Well, my mother had the symptom as shaken as like me, not like my father's, okay? That is all right. I have seen her just having this time of shakiness while doing any work, sometimes shakiness of the head. Okay. And uh, may I ask you a few more personal questions? Of course. Do you drink alcohol? Yes, doctor. Well, there is one thing actually, doctor. Uh, when I drink alcohol, I think I feel the, quite good. And uh, I feel that it, it goes away a bit. Okay. So that's one thing. And usually when 
uh, whenever I uh, feel that uh, I having I'm having shakiness, I actually uh, drink two to three pints of alcohol, and I feel better. Do you ever uh, had any binge drinking? No, no, no binge drinking. Yeah, actually, uh, do, 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 you, do you know the social limit of drinking? Yes, I think that it's uh, uh, 14 to 15 pints per week, and I usually have drink less than that. Okay. It's actually 14 units per week. Yeah, yeah. And do you smoke? No. May I know that? What do you do for a living? Doctor, uh, now I'm a retired person. Previously, I was a school teacher. And uh, do you think that you need any social support or any economic support? Uh, no, doctor. I don't think my uh, I have two children and they are quite helpful. Uh, do you uh, drive? Yes, doctors, and sometimes I feel some difficulties in driving. Yeah, uh, for this, uh, we will uh, recommend you stop driving until we are uh, quite sure that what is happening with you. Okay, doctors. May I know that what is your concern? Well, doctor, is it Parkinson's? Okay, uh, to tell you exactly, we need to examine you, then we could give you the best answer and as far as i have taken your history and as your symptoms uh you have uh, your mother had this type of symptom and also you have this type of symptom and that uh, symptoms arise when you do certain activities so <clears throat> uh they are likely that uh, it is not parkinson and we are thinking that you are most likely having a condition sometimes how uh, we call it benign essential tremor that is uh, it is not so much harmful but uh, rather distressing do you get it yeah yeah i'm getting you so uh, for this uh, we are going to give you some uh, medication and you said that you have some problem with uh, some uh, beta blocker previously so we are going to give you another medication and uh, we think that this will help hello Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Can you please repeat? Okay, as you said that you have some problem with the uh, beta blocker, we are going to give you another medication and hope that the, uh, this yeah. will help you. Okay. And uh, also that uh, we we are going to do some blood test now. And uh, okay. after uh, uh, giving you uh, advice on this medication, uh, we will yeah. follow off. And uh, if it uh, seems that it is not improving, then we will uh, we mean to do other tests also. Okay. Well, uh, doctor, uh, actually, I am. Is it treatable, doctor? Actually, uh, this runs in family and this is not totally curable, but uh, this is something suppressible that we can uh, control this condition with some medication. Okay. Okay, doctor. We have thank you, doctor. No, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, well, that was well done. Uh, well, what is your diagnosis here? Okay, uh, for this uh, gentleman, my uh, first differential is uh, this is a case of benign essential tremor uh, that is uh, related to his uh, posture. Or uh, I, I also consider uh, this is a case of uh, cerebellar syndrome as uh, he is also in uh, takes alcohol. And uh, other than uh, this, uh, I will also consider uh, some Related cramping of his hand. Okay. Well, uh, so what should be the treatment in this patient? Yeah, there are options like uh, beta blocker, like propranolol, uh, then topiramate, and uh, 
আদার দেন আই ফরগট আদার নেম বাট আই দিস প্রমিডন প্রমিডন ওয়াট এভার প্রমিডন ওকে and uh, well uh, i think this patient told about some uh, feeling washed out uh, what to do about it okay after i we will be a problem he has problems so i'll uh, go for that uh, another option okay well uh, i think uh, many patients can feel washed out and uh, i think it's better to ask about his dose okay at times uh, when we start at full dose at the very beginning uh, people feel washed out uh, they stop taking drugs but if we uh, gradually increase the dose at times Uh, the compliance is better so i think that's also an option okay, okay. and uh, well uh, i think uh, that was uh, quite well done and the case was uh, rather straightforward i think but uh, you ruled out other causes as well for uh, uh, the tremor i think uh, uh, suppose if it was associated with any thyroid issues then what would be the diagnosis uh, associated with thyroid issue yeah yeah this shakiness there is hypothyroidism no i think uh, thyrotoxicosis is more associated with shakiness yeah thyrotoxicosis and hypothyroidism both are associated with it yeah yeah well uh, the, uh, well okay that's all right and uh, you took uh, well there is one tremor actually we know about all these things parkinsons but uh, i think you could have asked about parkinsons more detailed okay that's one thing that do you have any difficulty while initiating your movements any problem while rolling your bed since you uh, since you uh, live alone so i think these issues could have been asked and do you think any there huh? i should have uh, ruled out it any uh, changes in the yeah and, yeah yeah and and if you have uh, any problem while uh, shifting uh, from uh, while changing your posture or something like that okay these questions should have been asked because at times although i have told about head nodding but there can be some parkinson's elements is present as well so this could have been should have been asked i think okay yes yes and you yeah, and you asked about uh, many all things about cerebellar that's all well done you ruled out malignancy so paraneoplastic syndrome cerebellar uh, other causes like alcohol everything that was well done another thing that i have came along recently that uh, that can cause tremor that is rubral tremor and this is associated with multiple sclerosis okay so this can be a very rare case a rare yeah, case not very rubral, rare i think case. rubral tremor present uh, both on uh, uh, that is called uh, resting and uh, action yeah 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 it's it's is present it, both on is, resting is and action is it home tremor or rubral tremor sorry what home tremor i think it's rubral tremor okay i think so i will again let you know okay but uh, this is this can be associated with multiple sclerosis okay hmm so this uh, you actually uh, ruled out multiple sclerosis so by taking history but uh, i'm just telling it that uh, we, we might need to be careful about that as well okay and uh, other uh, other uh, causes were ruled out very well history was also taken well but i think that uh, not detailing parkinsons was a gross mistake because he was very uh, anxious about this disease since his, his father is uh, affected yes, by yes. this okay so that that was i think important and other other all other were you know, okay all right okay so that's the one thing i think we should have been evaluated much more Do you know? Do you yourself have any 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 more topics to understand? No, I or to discuss. Remember, must. Okay, okay. That's I think uh, yeah, quite well done. Any kind of issue associated with uh, high pressure? Sorry. Any subclinical issue associated with high blood pressure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well uh, now i have i've just got into uh, rubral tremor actually rubral tremor actually it's it's severe tremor and marked worsening with movement okay okay and uh, another thing i think it's also a remote possibility but can be asked that is uh, any mood issues okay sometimes lithium can also cause tremor drug induced tremor okay hmm so just asking about mood issues 
I think that can be important. Okay. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear. You. Okay, uh, I think that's all. Uh, just mood issues along with other issues and Parkinson's, I think you must have uh, excluded it very well. And uh, rural tremor is, is just for academic discussion. I don't think that it's, it's very uh, possible in this case, uh, but I'm just telling it for for knowledge for them. And I think that's all enough for discussion. Okay. 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 Thank you.